Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's weekly market view for Monday, the 4th of September to Friday, the 8th of September, 2023. My name is Vishal. Let's get started. All right. So let's start uh, with the monthly chart of the Nifty. And uh, if you look at the monthly chart of Nifty, nothing much has changed. We had a bearish candle for the month of uh, August, and now we have started on a positive note for the month of September. So we'll have to see over here now, how does this um, uh, shape up into when you see a candle formation, like a green candle, a red candle. Maybe this is just indicating a pause before it wants to take uh, the next move or make the next move. Um, so this is your, uh, your area of demand. Is drop base rally. If we go on to the weekly chart, pretty much uh, nothing on the weekly, just market came in and you know, uh, just sustained this fall and now gapped up on Friday and uh, possibly continuing uh, to show its move to the upside. So, no clear levels on the weekly chart. I'm going to go on to the daily chart now. And on the daily chart, we have some interesting levels shaping up so we had this drop candle and then we saw a pretty strong move to the upside now usually when you see a, a strong drop in price and then you see a, a very very strong candle this could be a, a temporary reversal which could possibly take the markets to the upside um, the key levels of demand and supply on the daily chart is one level over here this is 19,706 to 19,793. And then we have another level over here, which is this rally base rally from 19,000 to 18,886. Definitely, we are uh, moving more towards, uh, you know, the, the supply zone. So any directional trading opportunities can be tried around this area over here. All right. If we look at uh, the options data, um, we see that there is a significant call open interest around uh, 19,600 levels. So I'm just going to draw a thin line in the sand here around 19,600 levels. And the reason why I'm drawing this line is because this area uh, could act as a resistance point for the market. So highest call over. And this is based on uh, EOD data. So this is not intraday. Obviously, things might change um, by the end of the day today. And uh, if we look at the put data, uh, we have 19,300. So exactly where the market actually rallied from. So here you can see 19,300 is going to be a very, very strong area of support. Okay, so this is where the highest put OI is situated. So the thing that we can conclude from here is that in case if the market does close above 19,600 odd levels, let me just change this to 19,600, then we might see the market continuing its rally towards 19,700 levels where the market might take a little bit of a breather. But uh, in the short term, it looks like 19,300 has gained good support because we were unable to get any close below this level, which could have led to a, a downfall in the market. Right now, we are in a supply zone, but this supply zone is a tested level of supply zone. So moreover, the market will try to you know, push a little bit more deeper inside the level. All right, so pretty much uh, these are the key levels on uh, the daily chart to watch out for on the Nifty. Let's move on to the intraday time frame chart. And on the intraday time frame chart, if we go on to... A 75 minutes shot here. So let's move here. So pretty much we are right now trading right in the middle of the zone. We do have this area uh, from where we have already got one reaction, right? But the real chunk of supply as clearly seen on the chart is around this area here. Obviously, it's going to be taking a little bit of a 
little bit of a breather here once the market hits 19,600 levels. And now we can also see around 19,300 levels. We see uh, new levels of demand also being created here. All right, so these are gonna be the key levels to watch out for on the 75 minutes chart as, as we uh, move into this week. All right, let's move on to the bank nifty now. Let's check what the bank nifty is doing. All right, so on the bank nifty, um, again, we saw a little bit of a bearish pressure in the month of August, and now we are again seeing markets uh, pushing to the upside. Here we can clearly see on the weekly chart, markets did hold on to this level of demand, uh, showing that they want to move a little bit out you know, to the upside. We do have this, um, this supply zone here and things will be a little better for Bank Nifty once this supply zone is taken out or removed. And uh, this is where Bank Nifty is facing a little bit of a problem here. Uh, it has held into this area here pretty well. So this entire area is, is holding nicely, but seems like till and until markets uh, break the 45,151 level, we may not move into the next level here. The most clear supply is this area of supply from 43, uh, sorry, from 45,365 uh, to 45,772. So seems like uh, for this week also, markets might tend to remain a little range bound, but this time with a slightly bullish bias. All right, let's move on to the... 75 minutes chart and if we go on to the 75 minutes chart let's see if there is any uh... okay so 75 minutes chart mm, yeah so this is one area of supply to watch out for which is this drop base drop so a nice gap level preceded with a nice follow through and above all these levels this could act as a potential trap yeah then we do have a, another level of supply but that's more or less tested so in case if the market wants to continue moving consolidation to a little bit more uh, you know sideways to a little bearish then probably we might see some reaction coming from these levels over here all right, what do we see on uh, the 15 minutes chart? So on the 15 minutes chart, um, we don't see anything clear, but one level that I would like to keep a close watch is this level over here, which can uh, play out quite well. This is a drop based drop level, 45,265 to 45,407. This is one level that you want to keep a close watch on. This is an area from where the prices have broken this prior low. And now um, they have also made a new low over here, right? So there is a tendency of price to come back towards this level and react from this level. So keep a close watch on the 15 minutes, um, oh, sorry, on 30 minute level of Bank Nifty. All right, let's move on to the next chart. Let's look at... Um, The Nifty Financial Services chart. And this uh, market has also been uh, pretty volatile, significantly trying to follow a little bit of um, the bank Nifty, to be honest. So yeah. All right, so monthly, we could possibly take this level into consideration, this um, rally-based rally. Markets have now pulled back to this area on the weekly chart now showing a little bit of rotation to the upside. But like I said, very, very similar to the bank nifty, right? We do have this much, much better level of supply that maybe you want to lean against, which is this drop base drop, which is also a very clear drop base drop on the bank nifty chart. But right now for uh, uh, fin nifty to move to the upside, it needs to clear this area, right? So this is, this area is going to be a temporary obstruction for the pin nifty level is holding up pretty nicely over here um, 
which is very, very similar to the bank Nifty. So this drop base rally is holding up. It's got us a little bit of a pierce here, but that's okay because markets did not fail to close. I mean, they, they uh, failed to close below um, this level of demand, right? So there could be still a chunk of unfilled orders over here. We do have a little bit of bearishness today um, on today's candle here, right? But uh, seems like markets are going to be a little consolidated with a slightly more bullish perspective. So we might get to see these levels getting tested uh, in the near term. This is Finnifty. And if we go on to, uh, let's see, some of the intraday charts to see some more clear levels of demand and supply. Let me have a look. All right, so let's go into the 15 minute chart. Change this to the 15 minutes. And uh, based on whatever has happened here, um, we saw that the markets did react to this consolidation here. Now, if you look at the overall uh, chart of uh, the Fin Nifty, it's pretty much consolidating right now, right? I mean, it's trying to show that it's trying to create higher lows. Right? So it's not creating fresh lows, which means it's trying to push to the upside. So if the Fin Nifty has uh, some more steam and it decides to move to the upside, very, very similar, just like the Bank Nifty, there is a level on Fin Nifty as well, uh, which could also be clearly seen on the 30-minute chart, but I'm going to mark it on the 15-minute chart. And this is the level here. A little further away from current market price right now, but a key level to watch out for specifically if both the Fin Nifty and the Bang Nifty hit these levels simultaneously. All right. On the intraday front, uh, we do have this level, which is playing out right now as we speak, this rally base rally. And uh, likely that prices might tend to move to the upside. And uh, yeah, pretty much nothing much. Uh, that is very, very clear on the Fin Nifty chart besides the levels that I have shown you here. Okay, let's move on to the USD INR now. So let's load the USD INR chart. Let's uh, complete the analysis on USD INR. All okay, so pretty much since many, many months, market has been consolidating on the USD INR. Now, after that, we have created this level of demand, right? And this is more like a like a flag pattern to say so to go a little bit into, into technical analysis. It looks like one. And uh, if you see now, um, and if I just draw a horizontal line here, markets are just struggling to close above these highs here, right? So it could consolidate and then start falling down or it might just continue to move to the upside. Okay, so now uh, we saw that markets made a reasonable attempt of closing the weekly candle above, but it was not able to sustain. And now more or less, there is a level of supply over here, which is created. And let us see if in the near uh, term, if this level of supply holds or it breaks, because this will also decide the direction of the Nifty. So in case if the supply zone holds and the market starts to correct on the USD INR, which means there will be a little bit of a selling pressure in the IT sector since the USD INR and uh, the IT sector is directly correlated, which means Nifty will start moving to the upside because Nifty and the USD INR are inversely correlated, right? So keep a close watch this week on the, on the USD INR chart. Um, this is pretty much uh, the level of supply. Let me just plot this over here. Yeah, this is going to be a level to watch out for. And then uh, on the demand, you have this area over here. So this is one level to watch out for. Okay, so price is more or less in the middle right now. So option traders can probably create some kind of a non-directional view and uh, plan some opportunities. All right, everyone. Uh, so this is pretty much for this week. I hope you enjoyed uh, the short and sweet analysis uh, that we do every week. 
Uh, do give your valuable comments in the feedback section um, and uh, do like and subscribe to our channel. Um, hope you have a lovely trading week um, and uh, see you all next week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. This should not be treated as a recommendation. Please conduct your own analysis or consult a financial advisor before investing.